Novel Audiobook Present The Rebirth of the Malicious Empress of Military Lineage Chapter 3, Provocation Young Lady, Second Young Lady is here to see you Jing's face had some worries, to come at such a time Young Lady's health was not well and was not afraid of catching the cold Gu Yu tugged at Jing's arm but she also had a worried look Shin Miao saw it in her eyes and her heart sighed the four maids beside her were all personally selected and trained by Shen Xin and Shen Furin and were thus very clever and loyal. What kind of situation the Shen family is in, what hidden intentions the second and third household was hiding, she was young and could not see but her maids was able to guess it out. Before anything could be said, a young female walked in from outside. This female was looked just over 15 or 16 and was clad in a pale pink daisy pattern dress with a pleated skirt and her hair was combed to a fringed bun. Her complexion was fair and her brows and eyes were beautifully elegant. She had a thick vibe of educated appearance and was dignified and decently conducted. Upon seeing her, she quickened her steps to the bed and spoke worriedly, Fifth younger sister. Is your health better? After knowing that you have fallen into the water, I was worried for a long time but you Jiao Courtyard's people said that you needed to rest and I dare not disturb. Hearing that you are awake today, I then dare to come over. Shen Miao looked at the young female in front. It was Shen Yu from the third household of the Shen family. There were three D daughters from the Shen family. Shen King was easygoing and magnanimous. Shen Yu was famous for her talents and it was only Shen Miao whose disposition was like a wooden block and lack of talent. The outsiders usually praise her as virtuous and quiet but in fact know that there was no merit to it and she was daughter that could not be held in public. In her past life, before Shen Miao was married off, she had the best relationship with Shen Yu. Shen Yu had a gentle temperament and could come out with ideas for Shen Miao many times. It was just that at the beginning Shen Miao was unable to see if the intention was good or bad and was blindly grateful to this Tang Ji for her help and dedication. For Shen Yu to come this time, it was most likely to be pleading for Shen King. As expected, Shen Yu opened her mouth and said, Fifth younger sister eldest sister made a slip and erred and since the matter is come to this point, hoped that fifth younger sister would be able to forgive her this time. Hearing that fifth sister had a fever, eldest sister was so remorseful. Since fifth sister's injuries are better, why not spare eldest sister this time? She did not deliberately let you make a fool out of yourself in front of His Highness Prince Ding. It would still be alright if that sentence was not spoken but she had to mention Prince Ding in front of Shen Miao. Everyone knew that Prince Ding was Shen Miao's darling. Shen Miao has the temperament to take grievances made onto her but when it comes to Prince Ding, she would definitely not retreat a step back. If Prince Ding was not mentioned, most likely Shen Miao would let the matter rest but this time Shen Yu deliberated mention Prince Ding, if she was not provoking a dispute between her and Shen King, what else could it be? In the last lifetime it was also the same, she only just woke up when Shen Yu quickly rushed over to plea for Shen Yu and this plea made Shen Miao agitated. The person with usually agreeing nature then accused Shen King of pushing her into the water in front of old Furin because her sweetheart. But Shen King did not admit to it and the people around did not see Shen King pushing Shen Miao. Old Furin had always been biased towards the second and third household and naturally gave her a lesson of not know how to cherish one's good name due to one's young age and still accuse elder D sister and confined her as punishment. After this matter was spread to the Imperial Academy, Shen Miao became the laughing stock of the students and no longer attended the Imperial Academy. And much later, she gradually faded out from the circle of the capital's noble ladies. To think about it now, her vision had always been confined by these people in the general's residence who created the illusion of the world. She had thought that she herself was virtuous and respectable and did not know that in the eyes of the outsiders, she was viewed as weak and ignorant. She thought that loving Prince Ding was brave and courageous but did not know that outsiders view her as shameless. The result of these deliberate teachings had led her to a muddled impression in the beginning. Although she succeeded in marrying Fu Ziyu Yi, she was considered as one who was unable to be presented to the public and when everyone compared her with Mai Furin, 
they would only say that she was stupid and ignorant. What a stupid past. Shen Yu saw anxiety crossing Shen Miao's forehead and her lips quietly revealed the trace of a smile. She know that based on Shen Miao's temperamental, as long as one mention about Fu Zayu Yi, she would definitely feel rage. But after waiting for a long time and a reaction was yet seen, Shen Yu look over suspiciously over and saw the young female looking at her with a smile. The young female's face was still very pale and her lips were very dry but her pair of dark eyes was as fresh and full of life like grapes. Shen Miao's eyes were her best feature. Large almond shaped eyes, ignorant and confused like a just born puppy. It was just that normally she would look stiff and was not lively. Now that pair of almond eyes were still round but the expressions in her eyes were very different. It revealed some cold intentions but not with any feelings. It was not stiff but more like, more like one with a condescending look. Shen Yu quivered and she did not know why but there was a kind of unspeakable panic in her heart. It seems that the one she was facing was not a stupid and dumb goo but a noble person. How would there be such a feeling? Of course she would not know that the Shen Miao in front was no longer that Shen Miao. The Shen Miao in front had experienced the fight for imperial position, rivalry of favor, loss of favor, mourning of her children and death of her entire clan. She was in charge of the inner palace and had the supreme power over the six palaces the Empress Shen of Mingqi. She froze for a long time until the young female in front rubbed her forehead and whispered, Second elder sister's words are too serious. It was me who fell in myself. Fifth younger sister. Shen Yu did not expect that Shen Miao would say that and was stunned for a moment before she could react. She shook her head and said, Fifth younger sister must not feel grievance. Why would I feel grievance? Shen Miao smiled as she interrupted her words, it was only a trifle matter, my head is still feeling dizzy and would like to rest for a while, if there is any other matter, then it would be discussed at Zhu Mu's place. Words have been said as such and Shen Yu was unable to say any more, even though she felt strange that Shen Yu did not treat her warmly. It was also that Shen Miao was made a fool in front of Fu Zayu Yi thus she was not happy about it. After saying a few more words, Shen Yu then only left. After Shen Yu left, Gu Yan then only said, Our young lady was pushed into the water and almost lost her life. If she is here to plead on behalf of eldest young lady then just plead. Why does it seem that it was not the case? Gu Yu was vaguely warning Shen Miao that Shen Yu did not have any good intentions. When the sandpiper and clam fight with one another, the fisherman would benefit from it. She most likely wants to be that fisherman. Shen Miao lightly said. Gu Yu was surprised and happy that Shen Miao could finally see the true face of Shen Yu but could not really understand the meaning behind Shen Miao's words. She looked up and saw a cold smile on her young lady's face and it had an inexplicable sense of awe which made people look up involuntarily. Shen Miao looked at her own fingertips. Why did Shen King push her into the water? It was because she said this sentence at that time. During the new year when dad come back in triumph, I will let dad call the shots and beg for dad to marry me off to his highness Prince Ding. She really said it naively and felt that they were all one family so there was no need for any scruples. Shin Xin was a great general in the imperial court and if he was determined to marry his daughter off, nothing was impossible. Why would Shen Yu incite disharmony between her and Shen King? Naturally it was because, Shen Yu also loved Prince Ding. In her past life, Shen Yu and Shen King only told her at the end of her life that they both loved Fu Zayu Yi for a long time. Now thinking about it, it has begun to take shape at this moment. Since both sisters harbor a crush on Fu Zayu Yi, wouldn't be a pity if they would not be able to attain their wish this lifetime. She will definitely let their wishes come true. Second and third households blood debt to the entire Shen family would be repayable from now onwards.